Hey, it's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. And in this video, I'm going to show you what to look for inside of your Google Webmaster Tools to identify if there are any problems on your website that could be affecting your SEO. So in Webmaster Tools, after you log in, you click on your domain name and you come to this dashboard. And this is, at a glance, a lot of important information about your website. The very first place you want to look is right here inside New and Important. And here it shows, for mine anyway, no new messages or recent critical issues. That's good. New messages are fine. Sometimes the messages are very, very benign. But sometimes, like it says here, the messages are regarding critical issues, which if you have those, you need to address those immediately because those will be hampering your SEO efforts. Very next place to look, crawl errors. If you have a crawl error, it means that Google is having problems crawling your content, which means it's going to have problems putting that content in the search results, which is going to be bad for SEO. So at a quick glance, here we have three green check marks. You want to make sure the DNS is checked, server connectivity is checked, robots.txt fetch is checked, and that they're all green. You don't want to see red X's here. Below that, we see we do have some URL errors. We have one soft 404 and four not found. And these are on WPLearningLab.com, and we're going to fix these right now. You may have nothing here, but just watching me fix these is going to be a good education because you will have 404s one day. I guarantee it. And you want to make sure they're cleaned up because if Google finds there's a, there's a lot of 404 errors on your website, 404 meaning that the page can't be found, it's not going to want to put that website in the search results because it knows that its users may also find those page not found errors and that's bad for user experience. So whenever you find these 404s, you want to make sure that they're fixed. And also on a side note, a plugin you can install on your website to be a little more proactive about this, it's called Broken Link Checker. It's a great plugin, it'll check for broken links and it also checks for 404 errors on your site, which is good because you want to clean those up and it helps you clean them up right inside your WordPress dashboard. So to clean them up via the Webmaster Tools, we click on this Crawl Errors tab at the top. Then we get more detailed information. I'm going to scroll down a little bit. So we have a soft 404 for category forward slash uncategorized. So on, on the website, the uncategorized category doesn't exist. The page doesn't exist for it. Google's not happy about it. If we go to the not found ones, which is the same thing, it's also 404. We can see that we've had more over time. We used to have 31 back in the, a few months ago. And as these 404s were coming in, well, there's a whole bunch that came in and I fixed them all. And then over time, Google went in and realized that they were fixed and gradually there's a steady decline to now where we only have four. And these URLs, if you have them on your site, obviously are gonna look different, but the process to fix them is the same. You wanna click on the URL itself and you should get a pop-up window you want to copy this URL from here. Go back to either your WordPress site where you have a, where you should install a 301 redirect plugin. The one I'm using is called Quick Page Post Redirects, which I, I, have, a, I have a tutorial showing you how to use it. I link to it below this video. You can also do this via HT Access if you don't want to use a plugin for your 301 redirects. I also have a tutorial below this video. But when you have the link for the broken page, we, we paste it into the request URL box and we paste the destination URL into the, uh, the destination URL box. So in this case, this was a writer that used to write for us but doesn't anymore. And I'm just gonna redirect all of the, the links that go to his author profile back to our homepage. And so there's a couple of them. I'm just going to redirect these, copy them. I'm just going to do these two because I don't want to take, yeah, take the whole day doing this. So when we have those two in there, I'm going to click on add new redirects. And now this will, inside the WordPress HD access file is actually where this plugin will input this information. And when people try to access this page, it's going to go to the home page. So inside of Google, now that we have those fixed, you can either fix them one at a time and then click the blue button 
that says mark is fixed at the bottom. Or you can check the boxes beside the URLs and then mark multiple at a time as fixed. So I'm going to mark those ones as fixed because they are now redirecting to the home page. And those will eventually, when Google gets around to crawling them, they will disappear from this list. If Google finds there's still the problem, they're going to reappear on this list. So that's how we fix the 404 errors. You want to make sure you fix them whenever you see them. So let's go back to our dashboard. The next thing we want to look at is the sitemaps, which is on the right hand side over here. Now I have generated XML files for my sitemaps using a plugin in WordPress and integrated those with Google Webmaster Tools, which gives me a lot of diagnostic information about the website. I highly recommend that you do the same. I have another tutorial I'll link through in the description of this video that will walk you through how to do that and get these sitemaps into Google Webmaster Tools. So check that out and definitely get them in here. And in case you're wondering, Google Webmaster Tools is a free service provided by Google because they actually, believe it or not, they want your site to be awesome. They want to send traffic to your site. So they're giving you all the tools that they think are necessary to help you make your site awesome. So for the sitemaps, I've included them in Google Webmaster Tools. And as you can see, there's, if when you hover over these bars, we've submitted 201 web pages and 175 have been indexed, which is pretty cool information. We've submitted 685 images, 383 have been indexed. So when I look at this, and when you look at yours, we want to see that over time, the number of index pages increases. So if you have 200 pages on your site, but it's only showing two of them as being indexed, and those pages have existed on your site for six months, there's a problem that needs to be addressed. And hopefully, Google Webmaster Tools will give you those as warnings. As you can see, I have a few warnings on the right-hand side over here. So hopefully they'll give you warnings about what the problem is. If not, we've got to do a little investigative research, which we're going to do throughout this tutorial series. So our number of index or index web pages versus submitted web pages looks pretty good. Our index images versus submitted images is less than half or just over half, and that's not good. However, there are a lot of images on the website. So nearly every post has five or six images. So I don't expect Google to index all of them because they're all related to the same keyword for that particular post. So they're not going to index six images on the same keyword. So I'm not too concerned about this. However, I will look into it. First, let's take a look at what the warnings are. We have three different sitemaps that I've included. The category sitemap, the page sitemap, and the post sitemap. So I'm going to click on this warning link on the right-hand side. And at the bottom of the page, it shows some URLs in the sitemap have a high response time. And it says the same thing again. And the URL example they give is also that URL that was a soft 404, the category uncategorized. Soft meaning they couldn't load the page. Uh, a page not found meaning it did load the page and it didn't find anything. So we are going to fix this by using a redirect I, I got rid of the uncategorized category because that's not really a category you should have on your website. So we're going to get rid of the uncategorized category. So with this warning, we don't have to address. And there's actually no way of saying, I fixed it. They actually, Google will go back every once in a while and check to see if this problem still exists and then remove this when it doesn't exist. So if we look at our other warnings from the page sitemap, we have 14 warnings. And these warnings show as URL blocked by robots.txt. Now the robots.txt file is a very important file on your website, and it's also something we're going to look at in, in more specifically in a later video. But for the purposes of this, I'm going to see what is the problem. And it looks like, for the examples they have, there is a smiley face, but it's a frowny face, so it's an unhappy smiley face, if that makes sense. And the URL, or accessing that PNG file, is being blocked by the robots.txt file. So, and it's the same file over and over. So I have a feeling all 14 errors are the exact same file. And we want to check what the robots.txt file is actually saying, which we can do right here in uh, Google Webmaster Tools. On the left-hand side, we have robots.txt tester, 
So if we click on that, on the page that loads, we have the robots.txt file as it appears on our server, which is this area here. And the robots file is specific to robots, meaning search engine spiders that come and crawl your website. So all the instructions that are in here are mostly directed to search engines. So the very first line says user agent and the star means all. So all user agents that are search engines or online bots that access your website, they are not allowed to access wp-admin and they are not allowed to access wp-includes. And that's fine. No search engine spiders should be accessing or indexing those folders because those are core WordPress folders that you would never want to have indexed in search engines anyway. Those should all be private. If they're not private, it's a security vulnerability. So in the error that we had before where it said that the robots.txt file was blocking a picture file in our uploads folder, that is a mistake on Google's end because there is nothing in the text file that's disallowing Google to access the uploads folder to view the images. So for that error, we can safely ignore it because we've confirmed that it's not in our robots file, which is where Google said the problem is. So in essence, there is no problem because it's only a smiley face. It's not that important of a file and the robots file is clean. So they must be getting a false positive somewhere. Unfortunately, they don't give further information as to why they're getting that false positive. Next, we're going to check out the two warnings for the post sitemap. And I'm feeling these are also going to be unimportant warnings. So URLs roboted out. When we tested a sample of the URLs from your sitemap, we found the robots.txt file was blocking access to some of the URLs. We've just confirmed that the robots file is blocking access to the WordPress core files, but not post URLs. So if we open this URL here in a separate tab, we can see that the post is here and all the content is here. And we've confirmed in the robots file that th this is not being blocked. The regular posts are not being blocked. So we can safely ignore these warnings as well. And so all of the warnings that we've had, we've, had, we've been able to ignore them. Um, but there, you may have warnings that can't be ignored and you need to address them. And they will usually give you instructions on how to do that. So that's why we want to have our sitemaps in there to make sure that the warnings that we at least look at them and see whether or not they are actually real warnings or real problems or not. And after we've checked those crawl errors, let's go back to the dashboard actually. So we've checked all of the at a glance dashboard information. We've checked the messages at the top, checked the crawl errors, checked the sitemaps. The next thing we want to do is on the left hand side, we want to click on security issues. And we want to make sure that we have this message. Currently, we haven't detected any security issues with your site's content. That's good. That's what we want. If you have a message saying there are security issues, it will be, it'll give you links and instructions on how to fix them. But this is what you want to see. You don't want to see security issues here. Then we want to click on under search traffic on the left hand side. We want to click on manual actions. And what we want to see here is no manual web spam actions found. And that means that no manual actions have been done. And a manual action is when an actual living Google employee goes to your website, decides that your website is a problem and applies a manual penalty. If that happens, you'll get information about it here, including ways to resolve that problem with Google, which you want to do because that ruins your SEO efforts. So the next thing, actually the last thing we want to check in here in regards to SEO is the mobile usability link on the left under search traffic. So on this page, we want to see no mobile usability errors detected, which is good. That's what we want. We want our websites to be mobile and or mobily responsive and Google gives higher search engine preference to websites that are mobily responsive. And so we want to see no errors in this because then Google won't have any problems sending you mobile traffic because he knows your site works on mobile. So those are the main things you want to check inside of the Google Webmaster Tools in regards to 
WordPress SEO and making sure your site is ready for SEO to be done to it. So just a quick recap, we, in the dashboard, we checked that we had no new messages and no critical issues at the top. We checked our crawl errors in this box here. We checked our sitemaps and all the warnings they generated over here. We clicked on security issues to see if Google detected any security problems. And we went to search traffic and we clicked on manual actions to make sure no, no manual actions have been done. And we clicked on mobile usability to make sure our website is mobile ready, according to Google. And that's it for Google Webmaster Tools. I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Please make sure you like this video, share on social media, subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can get more awesome videos just like this, and check out wplearninglab.com where I write about WordPress every single day. Talk to you soon.